Mrs. Slater, there's a call for you on line three. Hello. Amanda, what is it? A book party? Yeah, 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 they, they, they told me about it. Listen, I'm not gonna be able to make it, okay? Be because my best friend is dying, that's why. Okay, just tell the publishing people to, to launch it without me. I don't care about the stupid book. I'm sorry. I know it's not your fault. Can you just tell them? My best friend is dying. me. You've missed me how? I haven't gone anywhere. I mean, we, we've been here for days. I, I know. I just, I, um, I just woke up, you know, and I looked up at, um, at Annie, and I just felt like I'd been asleep forever. Yeah, yeah, I know how awful that can be to, to be in such a sound sleep and then, and then get hit with such bad news right away. God, you look beautiful. What? What are you crazy? No, I don't. I look horrible. I look disgusting. I honestly, I don't care. I don't care how I look right now. I just, I thought that everything was getting better. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. Right? And Dr. Hubbard, she's she's worried about Greenlee even making it through the night. Wait a minute. You telling me Greenlee's sick and she might die? Yeah. Brian, what is wrong with you? Nothing, nothing is wrong. Just, where is she right now? Uh, she's, she's this way. Come on. Okay, no, you know what? Wait a second. Let's take a walk, all right? And you can tell me what's going on with you. Come on. Look, Kendall, if I'm acting a little bit strange right now, I can explain all of that later, okay? Just please, right now, just please take me to see Greenlee. Okay, all right, Ryan, but you have to know, it's it's bad. I mean, she, she's in a coma. But she's still alive, right? Yeah, of course. Well, that's good, because, you know, Greenlee, she's a fighter, right? I mean, if nothing else, she probably has a bone to pick with you, you know? Hey. She's not leaving us, okay? I guarantee that. I guarantee that we'll get through this. Just, just take me to see her, please. Okay, all right. Uh, well, maybe we should get some coffee for everyone first. Who's everyone? Uh, my mom, Jackson, Aiden. Devane? Yeah, and Zach, of course. Who's, who, who's that? Are you serious? Yes, Kendall, I'm serious. Who is that? Who is Zach? Zach? Zach Slater, my husband. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me that that you married somebody else? No, Rachel, I'll just, just stay there for a couple of hours. It's, uh, it's going to be a long night, are you? OK, I'll call you back. Annie. Hey, hey Zach. What happened? Ah, Greenleaf's having a rough time. It's not looking great. Oh, no. Is Aiden here? Aiden's here, yeah, sure. And, uh, Erica Jackson. Where's your old man? Um, Ryan? Yeah, Ryan. Do you have another old man? Or... That's him, right? I thought it was Greenleaf. Maybe coming. Yeah, no, he is. He's, well, I mean, he's not here right now, but... What's going on? 
It's kind of a, a complicated question. So, um, what exactly happened to Greenlee? I heard something about, like, an antidote or something, and they had to... Annie. What? We're friends, right? Of course. She can talk to me. I can't. Of course you can. What's bugging you? Ryan's fine. He was with Joe earlier, but, um... You know, I've just been trying to come up with a list of what to ask, because, you know, they say that you should always write down your questions so you remember what to ask the doctors. But, um, you know, I'm really okay. Then why are your hands shaking? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm cold. Maybe there's a draft in here. Yeah, there probably is. Let me buy you a cup of coffee, okay? Hey. I don't know if you've met Dr. Hubbard. Hi, Doc. No, I haven't. I'm Annie Lavery. Hi. Hi. How's Greenlee? Same, I'm afraid. Listen, Aiden's offer to take the poison got me thinking about something. About what? Using the poison to fight the poison. I'm not sure what that means. All right, look. We created the antitoxin from the poison root. Standard medicine. Greenlee rallies, and then her system shuts down. I give Frankie too much of the antitoxin, his heart stops. It's a long shot. Hell is probably malpractice if it doesn't work, but if I can find something to balance the amount of poison in their systems with the amount of antidote we use to treat it. I have no idea what you're saying, but if, if it's worth a shot, then go ahead. You should try it. Wish me luck. Come on. Ryan's been forgetting things. things. I don't know like if it's the gunshot or uh, we don't really know what it is yet. He's forgetting things. What things? You know. I don't know. Me, Zach. He's forgotten me. What is going on with you? Just, um, just take me to see Greenlee, okay? Ryan, Please, Ryan, no, I'll explain Ryan. everything. I'll explain it all later. Please, No, just... Ryan. Explain it to me now. Come here. He doesn't know that you're his wife, and, and what about Emma? No connection at all. What am I supposed to tell Emma, Zach? Daddy's sick? Daddy doesn't remember you? I mean, she's his daughter, for God's sakes. I'm sorry. You know what? I have to... I have to stay strong. I can't panic because it's not going to do any good. You know, and Ryan has always been so good to me. Since day one, he stood by me, he hid me from Terry, he's protected me, everything with Richie. So, now is the time I need to take care of him. Yeah, too. and you will, but you don't have to do this alone. And we're, we're here, you don't have to... We're here. I mean, he's, he's a lost soul right now, Zach. I mean, imagine if he, the last four years of your life were just gone. That's where he is right now. He knows that the time has passed, but for him, four years ago was yesterday. What does Joe say? He doesn't know. I mean, it could be, it could be an hour, it could be a, a, a day, a week, forever. Well, for worst case scenario, he's gonna have to fall in love with you all over again. That's not gonna be hard. Right. You, you should go be with Greenlee. You don't have to listen to all this. No, you know, this may surprise you, but I don't have any, um, medical expertise or anything, but I, no. I think Greenlee's gonna be okay. I hope you're right. And I think Ryan's gonna be okay. No problem, piece of cake. Yeah. Yeah. 
I hope so. I was thinking, Ryan believes his world stopped four years ago. Yeah. So... Wasn't that when he was engaged to Kendall? Can I ask you something? Anything. Are you drinking or have you been doing drugs no, or anything no. like that? I mean, I... No, I have not. Okay. It's just this I know. Whole thing. I, t I totally and completely understand, but like I said... Yes, yes, you will uh, fill me in later. Okay, well, I'm counting on that. Let's go see Greenlee. Okay. Is she okay? She's fine. Angie has discovered something new. And Greenlee is going to be fine. I know she is. Do you mind if I get in there? Hey, get in there. Thanks. <clears throat> hey. Hey, you. So he thinks he's back in time to when he was with Kendall. Well, that was four years ago, right? Then... Then what? Where is he? He said he needed to go on a walk. I don't know where he is. He went to see Greenlee. Or maybe he went to see Kendall. That was nice, Ryan. So glad to see you. You all right? Yeah, I'm better. How is she doing? They came up with a new way of giving them the antidote. They're mixing it with blood. Hey, guys, I, I think she's, she's moving her eyes. Hey, Greenlee. Hey. How are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Who died? Nobody died, nobody. <laughs> you back, Greenlee. You. Hey, can I get in on this? Yes, I am so happy that you're back. Now, can you please, please just stick around for a while? Yeah. You did it, you just kept fighting. Mm -hmm. You might go. You are amazing. What did you say to Greenlee? It sounded beautiful. Oh, it was, it was nothing, really. I was just kind of rambling on with the mouth, just pretty much anything to get a reaction out of her. Thank God she's OK. Ryan's lost in time and totally in love with you. What? How could that be possible? idea how things are for you. You told them? I told Zach. Oh. Yeah. Newspaper says it's February 2008, and I still feel like it's 2004 when I was engaged to you. Ryan, so much has happened since then. Yeah, I get that. You know, it's not like I'm crazy. It's just like I'm, I don't know, I'm like a little shell-shocked at the moment. It, it, That's all. It could be temporary, though. Yeah, we'll help you with whatever you need. Well, Greenlee's OK. She's, she's going to be fine. I mean, apparently you being here or whatever you said to her helped. So, so she's with, she's with Aiden now? Uh, yeah. God, I hope 
He knows what he's getting himself into. I think Aiden's got Greenlee's number. They're good together. They're good together, huh? Yeah. What about you? You happy? Um, Ryan, maybe we should. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, actually, I am very, very happy. And so were you with Annie. I can't imagine how how hard this must be for you. I'm, I'm truly, I'm really sorry. Everybody says that you and I are friends, you know. But I gotta be honest with you. I mean, whenever I look at Kendall, all I see is the woman that I love. I'm sorry if I'm saying things that make everybody uncomfortable. You, know, you know, I don't like... have to apologize. Ryan, right, it's okay. The four of us are a family. So how's the patient? Greenlee, uh, she is getting better and better. Uh, we were hoping to see her. Uh, why don't you just give me a few minutes to do a follow-up, okay? Do me a favor and tell Greenlee that I'll be back later. I gotta go check in with Joe. I'll go with you. Why is Ryan going to see a doctor? Is everything all right? He'll be fine. I'm sorry to interrupt. Ah, oh, that's okay. We were just finishing. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Albert, for everything. You got it. So, <clears throat> where are the guys? Uh, I made them promise to give us some girl time. Good. I need it. That and a manicure. Let me see. Oh, yeah, you do. Look at those hooks. <laughs> Here, uh, I can help you there. Okay. What, you're going to give me a manicure? Yeah, I'm good at these things. And uh, I don't have anything else to do. Ow! What? You're working that thing like an ax. Is everything okay with you? So you're going to tell me what's going on with Ryan, or am I going to have to squeeze you out of you? <sighs> Ryan is a little lost right now. <laughs> 